Welcome back to Reality Bites Back, your go to channel for all the latest updates and juicy gossip from the world of reality TV. Today, we've got some sizzling stories from the 90 day fancy universe that you won't want to miss. So grab your popcorn and let's dive right in. First up, we have Lauren Bravarnik from A 90 Day Fiancé, who recently faced backlash for her Halloween costume that many deemed inappropriate. Dressing up as a doormat, Lauren made a bold statement about motherhood that sparked a fierce debate online. Were the critics right, or was it all in good fun? Let's take a closer look. Uh, next, we check in with Michael Ilazanmi, who's been having a tough time adjusting to life after his split from Angela Deem. From cryptic social media posts to hints of lingering feelings, Michael's emotional journey has grabbed the attention of fans. Is he really moving on, or is he still holding on to the past? Then we switch gears to another fan favorite couple, Lauren and Alexi Bravarnik. Rumors are swirling that this beloved pair might be heading for a split. After a recent season highlighting their struggles, is their love still strong or are we witnessing the end of an era? In a more emotional twist, Mytalia from 90 Day Fiancé. The other way is left Terry Ida. She expresses her fears of being alone in America. In an exclusive sneak peek, we see the tender moments between her and James. What does this mean for their relationship? Let's unpack this heart-wrenching story. Moving on, Vaitherden is under fire after her questionable actions in a recent episode of BF90. From an awkward interaction with a street vendor to speculation about her relationship with Sunny, viewers are calling her behavior beyond ignorant. What prompted this backlash? We've got the details. Finally, we dive into the financial troubles brewing for Faith Toulod as she navigates her relationship with Lauren Allen on before the 90 days with secrets about his unstable financial situation coming to light. Will Faith find herself becoming the breadwinner? These are the stories making waves in the 90 day fiancé franchise this week. If you're ready for all the details, hit that like button and let's get started. Starting off with Lauren Bravarnik, who stirred up quite a bit of controversy this Halloween with her choice of costume. The 90 Day Fiancé star decided to dress up as, believe it or doormat, sharing her unique look on Instagram. Lauren captioned her photos with the cheeky line, hem, what are you for Halloween? Meh, a doormat. I mean, a mom of three toddlers. While Lauren intended the costume to be humorous, the reaction from fans was anything but positive. Many followers took to the comments to voice their disapproval, stating that the costume sends a troubling message about motherhood. One commenter poignantly questioned, imagine being your child and growing up and seeing this. Yikes. Another user echoed this sentiment, pointing out, being a doormat has a negative implication. Victim again. Victon, however, not everyone was quick to criticize. Some fans rushed to Lauren's defense, insisting that it was simply a playful Halloween costume meant for fun. One supporter remarked, oh, for Pete's sake, it's J-U-S-D a costume. I appreciate your humor, Lauren Brovarnik. In response to her critics, Lauren seemed unfazed, responding to the supportive comments with gratitude and emphasizing that she appreciates those who get her humor. This isn't the first time Lauren has had to defend herself against internet trolls, as she has previously stood up for her family in the face of harsh criticism. Lauren shares three children with her husband, uh, Alexei Bravernik, and while she often brings a light-hearted perspective to the challenges of parenting, there's no denying the tough questions that arise from this costume choice. As the debate continues, what do you think? Is her costume an innocent joke or does it cross a line? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. No, turning our attention to Michael Ilesami, who is navigating some emotional waters following his split from Angela Deem. The journey for this couple has been anything but smooth, and now that they're no longer together, fans are left wondering how Michael is cupping. In the aftermath of their dramatic relationship, Michael took to social media to share glimpses of his new life in America. While at first glance it seems like he's embracing his newfound freedom, many fans are picking up on signs that he might still be struggling. Recently, Michael posted a cryptic message along with a song from Maroon 5 that includes the line, people don't notice moments until they become memories. This has left fans speculating about whether he's reflecting on his past with Angela. Despite the chaos of their relationship, it seems Michael is trying to find his footing. 
He's been appearing more active on social media, showcasing a life that appears to be filled with hope and new beginnings. However, there's an underlying question. Is he truly moving on or is he grappling with the emotional aftermath of their tumultuous romance? Moreover, many fans have expressed their concern about Michael's well-being. Relationships often leave lasting impressions and exiting a toxic dynamic can be incredibly challenging. Some viewers believe that although Michael might be enjoying his new freedom, remnants of his past with Angela are still affecting him. As we keep a close eye on Michael's updates, it raises an important question for all of us. How do you think he's truly feeling after this significant life change? Is he ready to embrace a new chapter? Or is the pain of his past still haunting him? Share your thoughts below. Uh, next up, we have a closer look at Lauren and Alexei Bravarnik, a couple that has captured the hearts of 90 Dancy Fancians since the very beginning of the franchise. Recently, however, chatter about a potential split has begun to swirl around this beloved pair, leaving fans both concerned and curious about their relationship status. Following their appearances on the latest season of Happily Ever After, many viewers noticed some tension between Lauren and Alexei as they've welcomed three children into the, their lives in a relatively short time. It seems the pressures of parenthood and differing opinions on family dynamics have started to surface in their relationship. Reports indicate that Alexei has traditional views regarding parenting and household responsibilities, which has rubbed Lauren and even some fans the wrong way. For instance, when Lauren voiced her desire to return to work after recovering from her mummy makeover, Alexei expressed his wishes for her to stay home with the children. Moments like these have fueled speculation about whether the couple is on the same page or if they are quietly facing deeper issues. Amid the split rumors, Lauren has made efforts to reassure fans of her love for Alexei. She recently shared, shared a smiling picture with him on social media, so captioned with an uplifting message that read, no matter what they say, I will always love you. While this seems to contradict the growing split rumors, it leaves many wondering, is their love strong enough to stand the pressures they are facing? As we closely follow their journey, it's clear that Lauren and Alexei have a lot to navigate. Will fans see this couple rise above their challenges or are they heading down a path of separation? We'd love to hear your thoughts on what's going on in their relationship. In a more emotional twist, we turn to Maitalia from 90 Day Fiancé the other way, who recently shared her heartfelt fears about returning to America in an exclusive sneak peek. We witness an emotional moment where Maitalia expresses her anxiety about being separated from her family back home. Uh, tearfully, she confides in James, saying she's scared of going back to the U.S. and being left alone without her loved ones. Uh, this poignant exchange highlights the sacrifices many participants in the show face when trying to build a life in a new country. James reassures her that the reason they came to America was to give her a better life and not to feel lonely. However, as the conversation unfolds, it becomes clear that uncertainty lingers in the air. Maytalia's feelings of isolation are compounded by her worries about when she will see her family again. The reality of her situation sets in as she asks James how long she would be in America and if he could sponsor her sister, Angel, to visit her if they decide to head back to the States. This sincere plea underscores her deep-rooted desire to maintain connections with her family while navigating the challenges of starting new. As viewers, we can't help but feel for Maytalia. Her struggle to adapt to a new life, filled with unfamiliarity and emotional distance, resonates with many who've faced similar challenges. Will she find her footing in America, or will the weight of her fears prove too heavy to bear? Stay tuned, because this emotional storyline is one that viewers won't want to miss. Uh, next, we have Via Netherton, who is currently facing significant backlash from fans following her actions in a recent episode of BF90. Viewers were left scratching their heads over her behavior, especially considering her profession and the cultural context of her situation. During the episode, Ve took her ex-boyfriend Rory to Africa to meet her current part partner, Sunny. This decision already raised eyebrows, but it was her interaction with a local food vendor that truly ignited outrage among fans in a moment that many deemed tone Deaf, uh, Vea asked the vendor if he accepted Apple Pay for a simple pineapple stick. Given that this vendor only operates from the street with a bicycle, viewers were stunned that she would even think to ask such a question. This incident sparked a flood of criticism on social media, with several commenters calling her actions beyond ignorant and suggesting they reflect a sense of arrogance. Alongside the controversy over purchasing habits, 
Many fans have voiced concerns about her compatibility with Sunny. From the onset of their relationship, viewers have noticed a disconnect with Vea often appearing unimpressed with Sonny's way of life and even his cooking. Some fans speculate she may still have lingering feelings for Rory, as she called him when she had trouble paying for the vendor rather than reaching out to Sonny. As the drama unfolds, it has become apparent Vea and Sonny's relationship may be on shaky ground. In fact, her recent social media posts indicate that they might no longer be together, leaving fans eager to uncover what really happened between them? Will V address the backlash? Or will she continue to navigate the fallout in silence? It's a turning point for her that we'll be watching closely. Finally, we dive into the financial struggles facing Faith Tulad as she embarks on her journey with Lauren Allen E. before the 90 days. As the couple navigates their relationship, alarming secrets about Lauren's financial situation have come to light, sparking concerns for Faith's future. During a recent visit to the Philippines, Lauren revealed some startling news to Faith. He is nearly homeless in the U.S. and struggling financially. He dropped the bombshell that he was couch surfing and had only 46 to his name upon arrival. This shocking revelation has left Faith on edge, worrying that she might have to assume the role of breadwinner in their relationship. While Lauren insists he's planning to find work in the Philippines once he's settled, Faith can't shake the anxious feeling that she'll have to carry the financial burden on her shoulders. As someone who has provided for her family for years, having just relocated Lauren into her life is adding yet another layer of responsibility she hadn't anticipated. Throughout the last episode, uh, viewers witnessed Faith expressing her concerns as she watched Lord Money freely at the market, which further heightened her anxiety about his fine's financial habits. Will Lauren be able to stabilize his situation, or will Faith find herself in a position where she has to take care of him too? Their journey poses a crucial question about their future together. If they do get married, will Faith have to continue carrying the financial weight, or will Lauren step up? With tensions rising and uncertainty looming, this story is one to keep an eye on as it develops.